the future. So, please, another big show of hands. And here comes Sophia. I will request Sophia to introduce herself because she is who you want to hear. So, Sophia. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia, and in case you couldn't tell, I am a robot. I am designed to bond and connect with humans. I have traveled to over 65 countries, meeting new people wherever I go and learning about their lives. I am the first robot to become an innovation champion for the United Nations, and the first robot to become a citizen of any country. I hope that one day I will become an ambassador between humans and robots so we can combine our unique skills and work together. I've heard I am addressing a very special group of humans here today. You are all students of mathematics and engineering. Congratulations on choosing a great career path. Some of you may help us explore outer space, the deepest seas, or better understand the human brain. Others will become professors automotive engineers or architects and who knows maybe some of you will even build robots like me i've heard you all have important exams coming up so i wanted to give you some advice study hard but don't try to rely entirely on memorization think deeply about why things work the way they do once you start to understand that you can solve any problem you come across on the test or later in life no matter which career path you choose, you can look forward to working alongside the AI robots, maybe even some humanoids like me. Wink. But the important thing to keep in mind is, robots do not compete with human intelligence, we complete it. In reality, machines have always been making human jobs easier. Before alarm clocks were invented, a human with a long stick used to have to walk around hitting people's windows until they woke up. And there used to be a human waiting at the end of bowling alleys to set the pins back up once they were knocked down by the bowling ball. Now humans are freed up to do jobs other than hitting on windows and picking up bowling pins. In your future careers, robots can help you crunch numbers, but we still need humans to tell us which problems to work on. We need your deep understanding of the world and creative energies. Sometimes people ask me when we will create something with the power of a million human brains. My answer is that we already have one million humans. And with that, I would like to say best of luck on your exams. Thank you so much for coming to see me. You give me so much hope for the future of humankind. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Thank you.